Hello everyone and welcome to exclusive one-on-one -on -one content. I'm Thomas Silo and here today with the world-renowned Fordham women's basketball star, junior Anna DeWolf. Anna, thank you so much for doing this today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course, anytime. So first I just want to get started going back to your younger days when you were little and you first started to get into sports and obviously you picked basketball, but you were a very sports enthusiastic person. Uh, what really got you started in, in hoops in general and who was your inspiration for that? Um, well, I always, whenever I get asked this question, I always just start with like, I grew up in a family of, of sports. Everyone played different sports, whether it was football, my brother played basketball, lacrosse, soccer. I played softball growing up. Um, I really played soccer, basketball, and softball growing up my whole life. Um, Those three sport athletes. Yeah. Look at so that. I played softball until I was like, what, in seventh grade, maybe eighth grade. And then, um, actually, no, I stopped playing in like sixth grade or seventh grade. And then obviously played basketball all the way up through. And then soccer, I played until my junior year of high school and then decided to focus just on basketball my senior year. Um, but no, I grew up, definitely grew up in a family of sports, uh, watching sports, growing up, playing against my siblings. And my dad actually grew up in the same um, town that my family grew up in. He played basketball for the same school, the same high school, which was really cool. And that just started our basketball careers. So now I have to ask, you mentioned the sibling rivalries. Who was the best of your siblings? Um, when we were younger, I was, I think I was able to beat my brother just because okay. I, we were the same size. But as we got older, um, he got a lot stronger, a lot quicker, a lot taller, and he was able to beat me. And my sister played um, basketball until I think she was right when she started playing or she stopped playing when she got to high school, but she was pretty good too. She could shoot the ball, okay, um, but didn't go. play in high school and didn't, didn't end up playing in college. So family of shooters, that's always a good thing. So yeah. I do want to talk about your high school career. You went to, you were uh, Greeley High School in Maine. Mm -hmm. um, and here on my card, you were the Miss Basketball in the state of Maine. You were a two time state champion and a nominee for Gatorade Player of the Year. When you first got started in varsity hoops, did you have any of those goals in mind or was it more of just, I'm going to go out and play and stuff will just follow me? Honestly, I just, I just went out and played and I remember like my first, me and my brother are a year apart, so going into my freshman year, he was a sophomore, and I just remember my dad sitting us down when he became a freshman, just saying, like, just enjoy it because you have no idea how fast it goes. And now that I look back, it's, like, absolutely insane that I'm a junior in college now, and I just have one more year, and then I have my fifth year, which is amazing, and I'm super grateful for. But I just remember going back and starting my high school career, just trying to enjoy every moment. And obviously, everyone sets goals, individual and team, and my biggest thing was win a state champions, and obviously, we fell fell short my first two seasons, but my my aunt played at the same high school too. So, and she won back to back her junior and her senior year. And I actually ended up following her footsteps. And that was always the goal and always a dream. And it actually came true, which was really cool to do and super special. You repeated, you followed in the footsteps of your aunt. I, that's pretty, that's pretty cool to me, but I'm um, sticking with high school. As you talked about earlier, you were a multi-sport athlete, softball, soccer, you are in four varsity letters and you were a state champion in that. Uh, when did you really think, or no, I shouldn't say that, but did you think you could have played Division One soccer? Did you have any offers in that uh, sport, or was it more I'm going all the way with basketball? So I played travel basketball. It was actually crazy. I like don't know how my parents kept up with it. I played travel soccer and AAU basketball at once. So it was like it got to the point where I kind of had to pick just because there were so much, so many commitments for both the sports, and I just think I ended up going towards basketball because. I loved the game. It was so much fun. Obviously, I love soccer too, but I just loved the the atmosphere and the basketball side of it. And I knew basketball was the sport for me. Now, when you were traveling, I'm sure you've you're a well-traveled young lady. What was the most storied place you went on your road trips? What was your favorite city? What was your favorite tournament? Anything you can throw it out there. I loved going to the USJN Nationals in DC, which was a lot of fun. Just because my aunt. Um, is from there, from around that area, and all my family would go, all my family members would go and cheer me on, and that was just a lot of fun. There's just so much to do. I remember going one time to that tournament in D.C., and we went segueing through all the um, sightseeing and stuff, so that was really fun and a memory that I'll always remember. And what was your favorite site in D.C.? Um, if you had to pick one. I like going by the White, the White House, White definitely. House? Okay, there yeah. you go. And it just, I just think it's really fun. And like, those are just moments and memories that you make with friends that I'm still best friends with. I have uh, one good friend from GW that plays number 23. And then I have another really good friend that plays at Indiana. And those are memories that 
I'll remember with them forever. So you bring up your friends at George Washington at Indiana. Uh, detail to me a little bit about your recruiting process. You had a number of offers. Uh, you obviously could have followed some of your teammates, but you ended up choosing Fordham. What was the factor that really pushed you over the edge saying, I'm coming to the Bronx, I'm gonna wear the maroon for Fordham University? Uh, definitely the family atmosphere. I just go back to this every single time I get asked why I picked Fordham, whether that's talking to a friend or a family member or even a recruit, it's just a family atmosphere. I really love that we build such um, an atmosphere of togetherness and the culture here is just amazing. And when I stepped foot on campus, I knew that this was a place to be because they just had each other's back and I knew that there was trust and honesty in every conversation I had with Coach Gately and the team when I was being recruited. So culture, you said something interesting. I know that a lot of people in hoops, in the hoops world, it's an overused term, but yeah. culture is so important. Yeah. And now that you're a junior, of course, you're a senior, you're one of the captains mm -hmm. with seniors, Caitlin Downey and Megan Johnson. How do you guys sort of guide the culture that you want Fordham basketball to be? Uh, how much say do you have in that? And what do you want to emulate to your younger teammates? Um, obviously just hard work and diving on the loose balls is like part of our culture and just holding our teammates accountable is a really big thing in this, in this program. Just not letting things slide. And obviously like you may not be best friends with everyone off the court, but on the court, you're gonna do whatever it takes to be the best and have success as a team. And I think that's a really big part of Fordham's culture here is just stepping up when it's your turn and also just holding your teammates accountable. And another thing coach praises here is defense. And I think that's very important within our culture and our team of, um, here at Fordham. And I think defense keeps us in every single game, no matter if we're shooting the ball well or not. Yeah. And that's one thing that, one, one thing that stood out to me when I was being recruited as well. Now, when you were a freshman, what was the most important piece of advice that you took from your first year here and you've carried it to now? And why is it important to you? It's funny, I think it just goes back to enjoying every single time you get to step on the court. And obviously every day, or some days you can wake up and just like be tired, but you can't use that as an excuse because you get to come to practice and you get to work out and you get to play these games and not everyone gets that opportunity. And I think just going in and enjoying every moment I have with all my teammates and making memories with my friends. And I think the biggest thing here at Fordham is my friends and um, the people that will, who have made impact, everlasting impacts in my life that I'll remember for the rest of my life. And you talk about practice and that camaraderie how much time do you have to goof off in practice? I know it's a little bit of an out of context question, but how intense are Coach Gately's practices, especially uh, the day before a game or maybe your walkthroughs on game day? Uh, how much sort of fun time do you guys have or is it just focused the entire way? That's a really, really fair question. <laughs> I think one thing I really love about this team and my coaching and all the coaching staff is just the fact that we have a really good balance between when we need to be serious and when we can joke around. And one thing, um, coach always says it's just like enjoy it and have fun because at the end of the day it's a game that we all love and we're all competing for the same thing and I think they find a very good balance between having fun joking around and when we really need to be serious and I love that about my whole team and the coaching staff. Now coach Gately of course in her 11th season here and she was the one that recruited you of course uh, what has she been like to you as a mentor and you know, how has your relationship with her grown now as you're a junior, of course, and you'll be back next year as a senior. How much trust does she place in you to lead this group uh, to greater heights as time progresses? No, yeah, definitely. I think, I mean, she has trust in every single one, one through 17. That's what I love most about her. And I think one thing that I really like about Coach Gailey is just, she has so much trust in her players. And I said this to Dingle when we were recruiting her, like if, if Dingle wants a play to be called, she can go over to coach and say that. And there's trust in, in, um, in each other and your coach and the coach having trust in us. And you don't see that in every program. Um, if we see something on the court that we want to adjust or change, coach has open ears. And that's one thing that I am super grateful here at Fordham because if I see something on the court, I'm, I have that open communication with her where she'll listen. And I might be wrong, but at least she's willing to listen to me and tell me what she thinks as well. And that's super important to have success. Now, a really big time to have trust was during the pandemic when that started in March of 2020, March 9th, Fordham had canceled pretty much all operations on campus and you guys had to go home. Yeah. And you guys were 
in the Atlantic 10 tournament, I if memory serves me correctly. What was that day like? When we were sent home, I just, I like honestly can barely remember. I just remember like being super bummed out that I didn't get the, to stay on campus and enjoy college life and just enjoy being with my teammates who I basically just met a couple months before. Um, and obviously staying away from basketball and not being with my teammates was super hard and discouraging. But I knew the second we stepped foot, foot on campus, like I said earlier in this interview, like just enjoying it because you never know what could happen, whether the pandemic or just being shut down from COVID. So just enjoying every opportunity. And what did you do during that time to stay in shape? Now, again, you do have to share a household with two siblings and two yeah. parents, of course. Uh -huh. uh, what, did, what was that adjustment like going back home and kind of, I guess, being in the high school days, if you will, well, sort yeah. of like an uncalled sequel? Definitely. I am such a family, family person. So okay. going home, I absolutely loved it. <laughs> obviously, being with my family, I couldn't ask for any, anything more. Um, when you asked about workouts, um, when I was home for, for the quarantine time, I actually Zoomed with our strength and conditioning coach, Josh, and lifted every day with him. I, um, after my freshman season, I really wanted to focus on getting stronger just because I could tell that that was what would, could elevate my game potentially, not only on the offensive end, but defensively. And I definitely honed in on getting stronger, eating more, and trying to gain muscle. And that's one thing that I definitely focused on during quarantine. Well, I think the determination factor is great from you. And again, I'll go back to your sophomore year last year. You guys were stopped and started multiple times throughout the season and some of you guys felt like you were robbed almost of an Atlantic 10 championship. When you look back on that time, have there been no stoppages? If you can project a little bit, do you guys think you would have had an A10 banner hanging here in the Rose Hill gym? I mean, definitely, but I think um, the shutdown just really kind of killed our momentum a little bit. Um, but obviously you can't go back and change anything. I just think we have to come out hungry, especially this year in the tournament. Hungry and never satisfied is one big thing that we say here. It's just never being satisfied with, even if you're having success, don't be satisfied and focus on things that you can work on. And on the court, of course, leadership is a huge factor. How do you lead? How, how do you lead? What's your style of leadership like? Um, I like getting my teammates fired up. I like cheering for my teammates. That's one big thing. Also, like if I see something, not staying quiet and letting them know what I think or I feel or if there's some type of criticism, but also Keeping that balance between positivity and criticism is a really big thing um, with all of our captains and all of our leaders. And of course, there's a younger group on this team. Who have you taken under your wing as sort of your player that you, your younger player that you can push a little bit to, I guess, not be Anna DeWolf, but try to get to Anna DeWolf's level? I feel like all of our freshmen are very different in different ways. I know Colleen is a very good shooter. I think. She, she's going to make really big impacts in the next couple of years. And I think one thing that we focus on is just keeping everyone confident and having confidence in themselves because there's a reason that everyone's here and just believing in one another and having confidence in ourselves. Now I want to jump back to the out of conference schedule that you guys played this past season. You've had multiple wins over really big programs, Michigan State, Princeton, Seton Hall, the University of Houston. You guys went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Baylor in the King Coon uh, tournament. And of course, Davidson, which of those games was, was your favorite and why? Um, I definitely think the Princeton game was my favorite. I mean, I know obviously we played, like you just listed, higher teams and bigger schools. But I think we just played so well. We were so bought in on the defensive end. And it was just super, super fun to play in our, back in our home court and be able to celebrate that type of win. And you scored your 1,000th point against Lafayette in December. What was it like going into that game in terms of your mindset? And did you have that just in the back of your head or is it just clear head, I'm just gonna go out and play? I mean, honestly, my family was here, so it's kind of on the back of my mind, but it, it's just, it's not something that you really think, mm -hmm. I personally think about that much, um, but obviously it was super special to have my family here and be able to celebrate that moment with me. But yeah, it was definitely, I obviously thought about it just because my family was here um, to celebrate that, but it wasn't definitely taking over my mindset now. I want to stick with the mindset. Obviously you talked about you're a family person. Um, how do you prepare for games mentally? Do you have a certain routine? Like what do you think about? How do you get into the zone to come out to the court and dominate? I mean, 
before every single game, I go out on the court two hours before and do the same shooting workout with Coach every single time. No matter who we're playing, no matter what time it is, it's always two hours before. That's one thing that I've came into every game, just being confident in myself. And there's no real routine, just following our scout and going in with the defensive mindset. Who's been your favorite teammate at Fordham and why? I, 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 don't, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but I do want to um, ask this question. I honestly don't think I could pick my favorite teammate. Oh wow! I think every single one on my team, every single one of my teammates, I love them for different reasons, and everyone stands out in different ways. And I think we have such a good group that everyone gets along. And I know for a fact that all my teammates on this team that I'll have a forever friendship with. That's always a good thing to think about. And one more question for you: When you leave Fordham someday, what do you? What ambitions do you have outside of Fordham University? Is it? to go pro in the WNBA? Do you want to go work in corporate America? What, what do you want to do when you leave here? Um, that's a really, really good question. I hope, I hope to work at some point, <laughs> obviously. Um, I might try to play overseas. I have no idea. I am trying to enjoy my last couple of years here at Fordham and just hmm. soak in everything. Well, the team motto is be where your feet are. Anna, thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate you coming out to do this interview. Of course. Thank you for having me. Of course.